I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview on how to dress for prom. All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And while you're down there, make sure to grab my free 47-page ebook on men's style. I'm also going to link you to the black tie guide and my article on how to dress for black tie so that I'll go into a lot more detail than what I'm going to cover here in this video. So I've been getting a lot of questions and it's prom time here in the United States. A lot of guys curious as to how they should dress, what they should do, what they should wear, all of these questions that you know people have as they're getting closer to having to don here in the United States for our prom. We, it's kind of like a coming of age dance and get together. Usually, at least when I was in high school, juniors and seniors would go to, although if you were a freshman or a sophomore, you could go if you were invited by a junior or senior. But uh, I don't know, maybe the rules are probably different nowadays and probably depends on each school. But in any case, what to wear and the confusion surrounding it really hasn't changed too much for guys. I'm going to say keep it simple, keep it classic. And what's classic? Well, make sure you're wearing black tie ensemble, a tuxedo. Most likely, you're going to rent one. And in fact, for most of you guys, you need to simply go rent a tuxedo. The reason you don't want to buy, because you're 16 to 18 years old, your body is still filling out. And for you to buy something custom or buy something that you know is off the rack, but you're going to be adding a bit more weight, getting a little bit bigger in the shoulders, it just doesn't make sense. You're going to continue to grow to the age of 21, 22. So do not go out there and buy something unless you find a great deal. Now, the details of the, uh, the classic tuxedo, the jacket, Usually one button, you're going to go with either shawl or peak lapels. If you find something that has notch lapels, it's perfectly fine for one night. Um, you're also going to, the buttons, they shouldn't be plastic. They should be covered with the same material as the actual uh, jacket. Again, solid black. You'll occasionally see midnight blue out there, but not so much in rentals. That would be something you would purchase from a higher end men's store. Uh, usually four buttons, three buttons or two buttons are fine, but usually four buttons on the sleeves. The big thing to focus with this jacket is fit. You're not going to probably find one that's going to fit you really great around the torso. These jackets are being made to fit a hundred different body types, but as long as it fits you pretty good in the shoulders and decent in the chest, you're going to be fine. Now let's talk about the trousers. These are going to be made often to fit a wide variety of bodies. So there's going to be probably even some side tab adjusters in addition to a belt. Get as close as you can to a good fit here because what's going to happen is you're going to be dancing and you're going to be taking that jacket off and a lot of your pictures on your prom night are going to be with you, you know, not having that jacket on. So you want to make sure those trousers fit you pretty well. Now when it comes to the shirt, most of these uh, rentals are going to come with a shirt, almost all of them, and you're going to see two type of collars out there. You're going to see the uh, the wing and you're going to see the point. The point is about what I have here. This is going to be on most of the shirts out there. That's going to be fine, but try to go find, try to find a place that will allow you to tie your own bow tie. It's going to look better and it's one, it may take it and give yourself a good 20 minutes. Go to uh, the Art of Manliness or I'll, I'll link you to some other places down below which talk about how to tie a bow tie. But it's one of those things that it, it's fun. You're not going to be able to do it too many times. And if you go with a clip on, eh, you know, it's just not going to be the same. Okay, so there's, there are also going to be some bits of jewelry probably in with there and these are going to be studs for the, instead of having buttons right here, you're going to have studs that are going to go through both uh, angle, both parts of the cloth and hold the shirt together. In addition, you're going to have French cuffs most likely. French cuffs, they're fold over cuffs and you're going to be holding them together. Again, it should cut, you should get the jewelry and make sure, and I'll talk about this briefly, but you're going to be renting this tuxedo on this night and I've already talked about why, but before you leave the rental place, one, get there early. Try to be one of the first people to pick it, pick up your tuxedo, call and find out the soonest that you can pick it up. Get there, you want to try it on there. Don't just pick it up and leave. You want to make sure that the jewelry is there. Any questions you may have, ask. Check the fit. If you can get something adjusted, it, that's great. If not, maybe ask to get something exchanged. If you feel it's too big, it's too small, see what else they have out there. If you're the last guy picking up your tuxedo, you can bet that they're not going to have anything left. So this is why it's important that you're one of the first 
guys there trying to you know try this stuff on and seeing if they can uh, even help you get a better fit. Now let's talk about uh, to talk about the trousers. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about the cuff. It should be uncuffed at the bottom. But if your tuxedo, you know, if your rental has a cuff, you're not going to be able to change that. Now focus on the fit of the shoes. You're going to spend a lot of time dancing, a lot of time walking around, hanging out with your buds. Probably not too much. So well. I some of you guys are going to be sitting on your backside all night, but hopefully not. Hopefully you get the courage to go up and ask that girl to dance that you've been, you know, wanting to talk to for, you know, the entire year. In any case, make sure your shoes fix. You don't want to have blisters the next day. Uh, so you've got the bow tie. You've got your waist covering. Make sure you have a waist covering. Cummerbund is what most rentals are going to come with, and that's very easy to adjust. Go with something classic. Everything should be black or white. If you're getting something in baby blue, if you're getting something in a neon color, stop. Don't go that route. Even though your date, and this is a pretty important part for the ladies, this you know their dress and everything is pretty important, and she may want you to match her. You need to push back a little bit and say, how about instead of matching, I compliment you. We go with something classic that 20 years from now we're going to look at a picture of this, and it's going to look good. Don't push it too hard. I, I'm one of those guys. I mean, you want to appease your date, especially if, uh, <laughs> especially if you are in a relationship with her. It's one of those things that you don't want to push too hard. But try to give a little bit of reasoning, and I would say stand your ground to a point. If you have to give in a little bit, well, then just button up your jacket and you know don't don't wear a vest though that is yeah bright orange or bright pink. I you do need to draw the line somewhere, guys. <laughs> okay. With the rental, another thing is make sure somebody is designated, either your father or somebody, uh, one of your friends, that they're going to pick all these things up and return them the next day. You don't want to get a late return fee. In addition, if you're going to an after hours prom party, make sure to uh, take the stuff off before you decide to go, you know, do something a little bit, you know, fun or, you know, start wrestling with a buddy and all of a sudden you get the arms of a jacket ripped off. Yeah, it's funny at the time, but you're going to get a $200 bill. And so, you know, better to change into some clothing which you can have a little bit of fun afterwards. Uh, there's also the question of regional tuxedo styles. I grew up in Texas and we called it the Texas Tux and that's where you actually wore a black pair of jeans along with western boots instead of the typical bottom. I did this actually, uh, what was it, my junior year, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's very regional. It's definitely not classic, but for the area it worked, and I had a great time, especially boots work really well when you're out dancing and two-stepping and that kind of stuff. Uh, the last thing I'd like to leave you guys with is you're not invulnerable, so if there are going to be any drugs or alcohol, you know, just maintain a, you know, a good, solid state of mind. Don't get into a vehicle with anyone that's doing anything stupid because at the end of the day, guys, you want to see the next day. And uh, yeah, last thing, I mean, I've done some pretty stupid things in my life and I've seen some really young people who uh, haven't made it this far because they thought they were invulnerable. So don't be one of those people. Take care of yourself. Have a great time. That's, you know, I can't stress this enough. Go out there, enjoy it, take some pictures, spend some good times with your friends. Uh, don't worry about, you know, it's, it's one night and enjoy it. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.